In this training, we're going to be going over the new process for accepting loads out on well locations. Now, this training is typically going to be for the operators that are accepting loads out in the field. However, anybody can feel free to take this training to just learn a little bit more about the process. Now, what is our current process for accepting loads? Our current process involves the driver and the operator on location. The driver will bring both a sandbox BOL and a sand ticket to the operator on location. The operator on location will then go over the information on both documents to make sure that they both match each other and that everything is correct. Once the operator on location has verified all of the information on both documents, they then sign and will take a copy for themselves and give a copy back to the driver. Now, what is a sand ticket? A sand ticket is given by the sand loading facility and has all of the information for the load, like the sand type, the amount of sand that's in the box, as well as the well site that it's gonna be delivered to. Now, for our sandbox BOL, these are generated from the driver. And the way that they come up with all the information that goes on these paper BOLs is from the sand ticket and also some information that dispatch gives them. Now, using the Sandbox mobile app, we will be able to digitize our BOL. So, what does this mean to you as the operator out in the field? Now, our BOLs will be digital. They will also be contained inside of the Sandbox mobile app. They will also be generated based off of the information that the driver inputs from the sand ticket as well as some information from dispatch. There will also be timestamps that indicate when the driver loaded and also when he arrived at location. Now, the digital BOL will be accessible for you on site through the driver's mobile app. Again, the driver will have to hand over their device so that the operator on location can verify all of the information as well as input their full name and sign for the load. Now, using the Sandbox mobile app, we will no longer have paper Sandbox BOLs. This process will now be in the Sandbox mobile app. Again, there's a load screen that will have all the details of the load, just like the BOL does. The operator on location will verify all of the details in here against the sand ticket and will make sure that everything's correct. Once everything is correct, they can then also sign for this load and mark it as delivered. Now, anytime that you are signing for a load, make sure that you put your full first and last name in the space above. In the lower section, you will see your signature. Again, make sure to always save your signature. If you don't save it, it won't save in the BOL. Now, I'm gonna walk you through just a quick process of what it looks like to verify all of the information. When the driver is heading over to speak with the operator on location, they can press the deliver button on the load screen. Once you click the deliver button, a new pop-up will appear indicating that the driver must hand over the device to the operator on location so that the operator on location can verify all of the information on your load as well as sign for the delivery. When the driver hands you their sand ticket and mobile device, always verify that the correct load number as well as box number is written on both of the sand tickets. Again, the operator will hand you two sand tickets. One of the sand tickets you will sign. The other one you will keep in your mobile office and will use to create your stage sheets later on. Once the driver has gotten the Sandbox mobile app open to their load details, they can hand the phone over to the on-site operator. On the load detail screen, you will want to verify all of the information you will also want to cross-reference the sand ticket picture with the sand ticket that the driver is giving you. Be sure that both of these documents are the same document and have all of the same information on them. You will also then want to double check the destination. Always remember, if the destination listed is not your well site, 
please have the driver turn around and contact dispatch. Also, if there are ever any other pieces of information on this screen that do not match up with the sand ticket, please have the driver contact dispatch. Once you have verified all of the information on the load detail screen and verified that it matches the sand ticket, you can then click proceed to sign. Once you click proceed to sign, this will bring them to a new screen and a pop-up notification will appear. This pop-up notification is to remind the operator to verify all load information before signing. Always double check and verify all of the details on the sand ticket as well as the load details page. They must all have the same information on them. On this screen, you will see two boxes that must be filled in. The first one is the on-site coordinator's name. In this space, the on-site coordinator will write in their full first and last name. Once they have done that, they can then add their signature in the box below. Again, there are two buttons, clear and save. If you mess up on your signature, you can always clear it. However, once you click save, you are unable to edit the signature again. So make sure that your signature is clear and legible prior to clicking save. Once the on-site operator has signed and saved their signature, they can then click the Marked as Delivered button. Once this is pressed, it will bring you to a new screen and a pop-up notification will appear. This pop-up notification is a reminder for the operator that they have completed their portion and can now hand back the mobile device and signed sand ticket over to the driver so that they can fill in their empty box information and complete their load. On the new screen, it will ask you for the empty box information for the driver. This is also when you will hand back over the device to the driver. The driver will then fill in all of the empty box information and can then depart location. I hope that this quick demo helped to show you what the digital BOL process is going to look like moving forward. Now, as always, I want to kind of talk about a few key takeaways that I'd like for you to take from this training. Now, the first and foremost is to always double check that the box number and load number is written on the sand ticket. Now, since this is going to be our only physical piece of paper for this load, we need to make sure that we have the box number as well as the load number written on the sand ticket, just in case we need to cross-reference. Next one is going to be always verify that all drivers are delivering to the correct location. Again, always look at the load details and the sand ticket to make sure that that load is supposed to be delivered to your well site. If you ever run into an instance where a driver is delivering to the wrong pad, have that driver turn around, go off pad, and contact dispatch for help. Never accept the load if any load details are wrong. Always have that driver make sure that everything's right before you accept it. Now, the next one that we're going to talk about is verifying all of the information on the sand ticket and load details. Again, make sure that everything matches up. Never sign anything that isn't correct. Next one is going to be to put your full first and last name in the space provided. Again, make sure that you're putting your full name on these loads so that if there are ever any questions, we know who to ask. Next is to make sure that your signature is saved prior to hitting mark as delivered. Again, if you don't click save, your signature will not be saved on the digital BOL. Please remember all of these key takeaways and also everything else that you've learned during this quick little training. And I hope that this digital BOL will help you guys out in the future, out in the well site to kind of streamline our process in the field. Thanks again for watching. And guys, always remember, nobody gets hurt today.